Hey there guys, and welcome to this Blender 2.5 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, construct this. Should have looked earlier, but I'm going to show you how to construct this. It's a human base mesh, and this is this can be used for modeling things and others. What? Sorry. <laughs> I said that wrong. Um, as I meant, I was meant to say um, this can be used for sculpting like the, the features because as you notice, it doesn't have many features; just a small amount of shoulder area, neck, and head. Um, so this is how you you make it. Sorry, I said I set up my three D cursor again for some reason. It keeps coming over there. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is. Um, it was box model, but not in the way box model usually works. Because usually you go to um, you go into edit mode and you have to divide it a few times. No, we're not going to not going to be doing that. We want to go to the modifiers tab and add a modifier. We want to add a subsurface division and usually about three. Uh, actually, no, two is fine. And we hit apply. So now we've got all these vertices to work with. And you also want to be um, in auto view, not because right now if you get up by pressing 5 on the keyboard to go into the switch between ortho and um, perspective view. Um, you want to be in ortho, which is a flat view, so you can see everything that we are doing. So we want to switch into a side view, and then press tab to go to edit mode. And you want to select this point right around here. Press O to turn on proportional editing. And we want to just grab that. I want the influence to be cut. You just use mouse wheel to scroll up and down. And we want the influence to be covering about half of the sphere. I want to just drag this down to create a head shape, and now I'm just going to um, select these two points here. I do that by hold, by right, right clicking and hold down shift, and with the same influence, I'm just going to grab. I'm going to just get a little influence move up a bit, but with a slightly increased influence. I'm just going to grab these and move them up slightly. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the front view, and as you can see, it's a bit wide, so I'm just going to select these two vertices and these two vertices. And just press S and X to scale on the X axis and then bring them in a bit. Scale up the influence. And um just gonna bring this down with a greatly reduced influence. Um so I'm just grabbing these and moving them down slightly. And I'll grab these two here. Sorry, I'm going to the cross area view. So I'm gonna grab these two here and then grab them. Think about like that. Should Nicely. Yeah. All right. That was my mum. Sorry about that. Um. So we want to just make it sort of this shape, and that's not looking too great. I think actually I'm just going to undo everything I just did because it doesn't look great. So. Whoops. Damn it. Influence there is. So you want to just <laughs> scratch everything I just said and want to just leave this as it is because um, this is actually fine where it is. So we have the basic head shape going on. So now I'm just going to go into a side view by pressing 3 on the numpad and then I'm going to press um, control tab and then go into face select mode or you can just go down the buttons down here. I'm going to Z to go into um, wireframe view so we collect everything on the other side. And I want to just press B to go into the crosshair view. Press B to get the little crosshairs up. And I want to just then um, extrude this down to about. Um, wait a second. I want to extrude this out to about there. And then go into the front view and then just press S, X. Um, I'm just going to go into turn off proportional editing because I don't want it. Just press it on the keyboard or go down to here and then just select in disabled. Um, and then just press S and X and then scale it up on the X axis. And you might be thinking, well, that doesn't resemble a head at all. And you're right. Because <laughs> it actually it doesn't at all. Um, so, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to delete these faces. 
because I like to have an open view, which is my personal preference. I like to have an open thing inside. Um, I like to have it open on the bottom. And um, now I'm just going to press Control Tab again, and go back into Vertex Select. Press Control R to add a loop cut on the bottom of it. Uh, oops. Damn it. Um, so press Control R to add a loop cut, and while you're still in the pink view, I'm just going to scroll the mouse up to about about four cuts up it should do. And I'm just going to scale those in a bit, like that, and also scale them on the Y axis just to bring them S Y, please, just to bring them out a bit. And now I'm just going to grab all of these. Actually, I want to press. If you hold on Control and click. You could do a sort of like you can draw your own box select, like that. And oh damn it. Um, and once there's all these points here, and just rotate them slightly, and then grab them and bring them forward. Uh, once again, grab, bring forward about there. That should do fine. Um, no go because I didn't start this point. Um, so rotate, grab, bring it forward a bit. That should be all right there as it is. And now I am just going to bring in. You hold down Alt, you can select the loop, the edge loops. Going around it, you hold down shift alt, you can select multiple ones at once. And I'm just gonna bring just these points in here and then scale them on the y axis as well. And I'm going to bring the points down his down the back of the model um in where the shoulder blade should go, so just about these points here should do fine. And I'm just gonna bring those in a bit because we don't generally you get that sort of indentation in between his shoulder blades and his neck's looking a little long so I'm just going to um, select these points here and then um, just scale them down and then grab them and move them up and I'm actually just going to delete whoops I'm just going to delete these faces not, not on faces damn it uh, do you want your do you want to change your color scheme to improve performance? No, I do not. I hate pop ups. Um, so I'm just going to select this, um, this loop here, and just delete them vertices by pressing X. So I just have to look at the shoulder area there. And I'm also just going to select the bottom edge loop and then just scale them on the X axis. So I just scale them out to get sort of a shoulderish shape. And I'm just going to bring this point down to be kind of um, meet some line with the rest of them. Bring it into the middle like that. Um, hmm, it's looking alright. It's just this area of the neck needs a bit of a touching up. Uh, it's up a bit. This area of the neck needs touching up a bit. Um, so I'm just going to select all these points here. And it's going to side view and just grab them. Bring them in so you get some flat neck. And I keep going back to this bottom. Say I keep going to just grab these edge loops and just scale them out a bit to grab them and bring them down. Now that's looking okay. Um, not the best it could be, but in the time that I've got, in the time that I've done this, you do a much better job than I could. Um, this is the better. This is the better. Uh, one that I did, which I spent about half an hour working on the textures, working on the detailing and stuff. Um, and this one actually does have. You can actually use a mirror modifier on, on this one, but you don't have to. Um, it just makes sure we show the same points on the side. Um, so yeah, so this is what you can create. It's been at the time, and I'm not saying that I'm the best at this. I got I actually got this toilet off Blender Cookie. Um, but I'm not saying this is the best. You can. This is. I'm. I'm the best at this because I'm not. Um, I'm. I would. I wouldn't really consider myself. I'd consider myself a, a decent blender user. Blender user. I'm um, not an amazing one. Um, so that's that. Um, that's all for me. Please comment, rate, subscribe for more. Bye.